What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? This your boy, Comedic Energy, and this is Dirty Mouth Radio. Dirty Mouth Radio, produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. It's we your got boy, Damn, Cray, man. Cray. Damn, Damn so I'm trying to get some shots. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got some <laughs> special guests up so, in the building. just had this bomb-ass introduction. I'm trying to get my ass Oh, son. my God, man. I <laughs> it's your boy, shit. Cray New. What's good, what's good, what's good? Nah. <laughs> Who we got up in here, Comedic? Man, we got two people up in here, man. Two special guests. I let them introduce themselves. What up? This is the Wiz. Is he is? <laughs> is he ain't? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Ian, aka Yonski. Yonski. Popping out little podcast, trying to have some fun, you know. Hey, what's man, that's what we out here to do, dog. That's what we out here to do. Comedic, what you got, son? Man, straight like that. Well, first of all, let the listeners know a little bit about you. We start with Iz over here. Uh, what's up? My name is uh, straight from Houston, born and raised, Fifth Ward. Um, you know, just a kid that did. Oh, word, okay. word, word, word. Okay. Got? I got hey, more. Hey, you keep it. Hey, hey. <laughs> we want the podcast to be long, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a new quick introduction. Uh, Ian, like I said, uh, some of you just call me Yonski, but born and raised in Houston. I'm young, man. I'm 21, you know, so trying to figure out stuff still. Um, okay, just okay. These guys through work and just happen to hear about this podcast, so we're just here live and better. You know. It's yeah. all good. Word, word, word. It's all, so both of y'all are from Houston, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, it's, it's just crazy how we got this set up. Two brothers from D.C. Mm-hmm. Mm. Two brothers from Houston. All right. Hey, Ain't where that we some going? Wild shit. <laughs> okay. We just stretched the we just stretched the whole East Coast down to the <laughs> South. Exactly. That's I mean, a long how, drive. How did y'all find yourself coming to Houston? So how's that work? You want me to go first or come back? Go ahead, bro. Man, well, I was the one who took the leap of faith first, and boy, was it a mother flipping leap. <laughs> oh my God, I'm talking about Assassin's Creed leap. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, that first year be something crucial, bro. And then we had the uh, the whole pandemic on top of that, son. So, all right, I decided to come down here. It was getting expensive out there in Charlotte. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Brother was hurting, trying to hustle and work a job as well as fulfill his dreams and shit. So I'm like, man, fuck, this shit getting hard. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get a house so I can build a studio and do my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to network and, and really grow. I had been in Charlotte for maybe like 10 years. Uh, you know, went to school out there, became a man out there, you know what I'm saying? So after a while, it's like it's time to do something. All right, let me go out down here, down to Houston, since it's cheaper, it's nice price and houses and shit. Let me get my thing popping, open up a studio, start making some real bread, you know what I'm saying? So when the pandemic hit, couldn't even network like that. Right, right. That's true. So, I mean, crush and blow. So, you know... That led me into creating my next, my two albums after that, and then I'm working on the third. So it's like progress didn't stop. It just, I had to adjust. But you know, then of course that led into my man comedic down down this my I get the five with you, boy. <laughs> yeah, man, I took the leap of faith, man. I I, I was iffy at first. Okay. I was like, man, I don't know, man. This is Texas. Uh, mm. They, 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 they still let your brother out there. It's nothing right. like you think it's going to be. <laughs> I thought it was all sand and, like, dudes riding on horses and Yeah. Bro, I heard somebody tell me, like, they was coming from Cali down here. They was like, oh, we ain't, this is the last time we ever going to have McDonald's. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like. Bro, it's, it's the persona, bro. But go ahead, comedic. Yeah, man. I. <laughs> I was iffy. I, I really did, but at at one point I just had to say, you know what? Everything is checking the boxes off. Uh, let me go ahead and make the move. I said I'm gonna just do it. It's the best thing for me and my wife. We have to do what we had to do. So I made the move first. I got the lay of the land, and she came down to follow. So yeah, man. I, mean, I think I think one thing you know it has to do with Houston really, but growing up, me being young. Just knowing the fact that you just gotta take that leap of faith, like y'all talking yeah. about, you know, you yeah. gotta take risks. You can't live life without taking risks. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Take risks that you can save life every day. That's 
wasn't gonna change. You ain't gonna change. You're not gonna evolve into the person that you're supposed to meant to be, or you're meant to be the person that you wanna be. So it's like, right. you don't take those risks in life. It's gonna be the same spot. Yeah, 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 bro. Straight, straight up stuck. Yeah. And you know, I know individuals who is like that too. But, mm-hmm. hey, right. man, it's what it is. Snoop said, it's not, it, everybody not gonna make it with you. That's real shit. Oh man, we ain't even. God damn. We live at the daiquiri oh, trap. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, of course. shit, that was. They should know that already. Oh, my God. We at the daiquiri trap, y'all. Y'all already <laughs> know. The daiquiri trap, dog. We already go. <laughs> <laughs> Live from the Daiquiri Trap yet again, man. This is this is becoming like a, a residence, man. We yeah, we yeah. love it. Every we time trying, we come out here, we get love. Like yo. they, they, yeah. Y'all come holler at them when y'all come down here. Maybe we'll be up in here throwing an event. Draped up and trapped out. That's what we're doing <laughs> right now. But uh, this is not about us, fellas. This yeah. is about y'all. My yeah. man is Yansky. What's good, bro? Like, what y'all got going on? Uh, what y'all want to talk about? All right, so we in the works of our own, you know, own right. little podcast right, right now. Yes, we are. Let's yes, we are. with our brothers real quick, you know, trying to see what's going on. Right. Uh, but the topic at hand today, I feel like it's very important we should talk about is the PNB rock stuff. Oh, you know? ah, yeah. R.I.P. Boy from Philly, brother. right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So give some Young backstory boy. on it, man. What? All right, for those who don't know. PNB Rock was out in Cali, um, you know, doing his thing. He lived out there at the time. Uh, him and his girl went on a date at the, you know, let's say lower economic region of California, I think in Compton or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was unfortunately killed, you know, and robbed at the same time. Dang. His life was taken away from him. Uh, now, as sad as it may be, there are lessons to be learned in tragic situations. Straight up. Um, I wanted to cut Don't you go posting the... your location. Not oh, only that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not only that, but, you know, it, the I mean, person that's, who killed him. That's killed. real, though. That's, that's, that's real. Especially being who he is, and, like, obviously his girl, he didn't post it, but his girl posted it, but exactly. knowing who you with and, like, what y'all probably got on y'all, whether you knew or not, you know, that if someone to that fame or level of fame, you can't just be posting your location like that, especially if you're there in that moment. And you know you're going to be there because, what, they was eating, right? They were eating. Yeah. But was, this, it, was it Roscoe's? Twist, it was Roscoe's. Yeah. I mean... But go ahead. Yeah, want, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take... No, no, no. You're good. Uh, who wouldn't want chicken and waffles? Come on, now, Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that ass over there. Feening. <laughs> but... Feening. The situation started with them already being there now if you are a certain status of you know individual right and you know you want to go to the hood where the food is good you shouldn't wear all your items on you to go mm-hmm. eat mm-hmm. what was he wearing again? he was wearing i didn't uh, really look into it like that but you know i mean he I mean, was wearing his, his, the pnb rock chain the pnb rock oh, chain yeah, yeah, I've seen that. he had on the diamond rings you know what i'm saying looking real glistery so it's it's crazy that you say that, right? Right. Because I've listened to like a lot of like wealthy people talk on YouTube and things like that. Right. right. And they talk about the whole concept of smart money versus dumb money. Right. You see what I'm saying? So with that, it's sad to say, but they consider that dumb money. Right. Uh, you. But but I will say. Right after these messages. And we are back. We are back. Yep. I was talking about the whole concept of smart money versus dumb money, right? right. Mm. And is you was about to say something in regards to that. When it comes to, you know, pretty much having a place, a time and a place to wear what you need to wear. Yes. Okay. So, like I said in the beginning, you know, I'm from Fifth Ward. Yeah. I'm from, from those who don't know about Houston, Fifth Ward is the hood. Okay, it's not well, it's not a very good place to be at night. All right, just to you know give a quick synopsis about Fifth Ward. Uh, me personally, how I grew up, like on on the north side, I'm good. Yeah. I'm gonna wear my chains. I'm gonna wear my jewelry. I'm gonna look nice and all that. On the south side, no. No bueno. That's a no, no. No, 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 no. It seems like the south side of every state is just 
terrible, bro. No, it's, it's not. Man. Why does it feel like that? It's <laughs> not really that part because I got love for each side of Houston, but it's where it's where home is. You yeah. outside your home. You know what right. I'm saying? This is somebody else's thing, and they may not know you. Yeah. They don't know you. They don't know, you know, you, you, Mr. Rough and Tough. Right. But they see you, you know, you shining on them, you spitting you on them. You're out here showing out. You showing out, so they're going to take. Yeah. So, they're going to hit that lick. Exactly. And, yeah. you know, he did get on the internet, and he was saying, not that it deserved him to get robbed, but he was like, ain't nobody going to rob him, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we all know what happened. Right. Damn, that's what he said. That's what he said. I, I mean, maybe like I said before, I, I would I didn't really look into the whole thing, but I, if I remember seeing correctly, I was on Twitter after everything happened. There were some videos on there, man. You know, like I said once again, RIP PNB. But yeah, I think he said like a week in a, an interview, like a week before, or maybe two weeks before, he was saying that he felt like he's been getting targeted mm. when it comes to like robbery and all that. I mean, so it's just crazy how it all kind of like, added up, and it's just like. Uh, I don't know. That's what happens when you you leave home. You leave home and you have on all your jewelry. You just big star yeah. in a in a pond. You don't even know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. everybody's looking at you and you don't know who's looking at you. Right. You can yeah. look at a wolf in his face and you don't know that that's a wolf because yeah, that's true. You not from here. Yeah. He got as much chains as you on, but he like you like them gats you got right there. Uh, Go take that. Let's not let's not take away from the fact that all of this is just stupid. Period. Oh yeah, that's like awesome. the fact yeah. that like all right, the young brother got shot. That was terrible. He went right. down there flashing his shit, and then you know letting everybody know his location. And that's that's trash. But the the, the real problem is the niggas who robbed him and then killed him. Like, if you rob somebody, why do you need to kill them? Yeah, why do you need to kill them, man? Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we really thinking about? Like, it's that easy to just kill human beings now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not even the worst part. Your chain that's made of something that comes from the earth is worth more than your life. Right. That breathes more life into other people. Like, come on. Yeah. That's crazy. Materialistic things. Yeah, materialistic things. So, like, the fact that we got to sit here and justify it by being like, he was just in the wrong place, wrong time, had the wrong chains on, looked the wrong way, did all of this. That right there is just, it's effed up, huh? It is. To me. But even even Snoop and Dre said it. They say when they go home, they don't wear all that shit. And the worst part is the shooter. Yeah. Yeah. A child. 17. What? what? I didn't know that What was y'all doing when y'all was 17 years old? I guess not, not robbing. Well, well, I was playing Call of Duty. It was bad. I was thinking was. about it, but I, I didn't ever you. do it. <laughs> 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 it was bad, you but know? it didn't involve killing Shit, We was getting yeah. robbed. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 like, I feel you. Y'all robbing me? Shit. Sure. Yeah. Somebody else need to get robbed. Yeah. Or, you know, that's how I felt, but I ain't never do it. I feel you. That's a sad this situation. This wasn't my man. thing. But from a... Okay, so... Let's hit it from a legal perspective, right? Mm. The whole notion of firearms. How do y'all feel about it? Now, keep in mind that was in California. Right, right. For, yeah. for, the, for people that don't know, California got one of the worst gun laws out there. Ever. But for a place like here in Houston. Texas and all that, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, Texas, specifically Houston where we are. How do y'all view guns? Well, individuals. Oh, oh, I'll let him talk about it more because I know you probably know more about it. Like I said, I'm still young. Sure. I know you got a whole um, spiel. Spiel about it. I got it, a so. spiel about it. Okay. Um, Texas baby, yeah, guns. I've seen them all my life. You know, they was always in the closet. Mm. Always, you know, don't touch that. Yeah. Like, I know. <laughs> I know what it is. I know how to use it. Um, but quite frankly, I feel the laws here a little yeah. too loose. A little uh-huh. too loose. Yeah. Yeah. Me personally, like I, you know, I I encourage people if you're gonna get a gun or you're gonna do anything bad, I encourage you to look into it fully. Yeah. Even with this, with it smoking weed or all that, if you're gonna smoke it, know what you're smoking. Don't let somebody, oh, this bubble gum rainbow or something. Like that. <laughs> know what you're doing, bro. Yeah. So, go take a class. Know what you're doing. Know how to use it. Know what you're supposed to do. How to use it. And, you know. But for me personally, I feel like. I do not have the patience to own them. Mm. Now, once I do, you know, mature more, 
Oh, most definitely. We already talked about what I'm going to get. Yeah. I'm not going to give no advertisement because there ain't nobody pay no money. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. So, Smart man. But uh, I, I, I like guns. I like the thought of guns. You know, protect your own home. But at the same time, as we've seen with the recent law changes in Texas, it has been terrible. Mm. Every day, someone Damn. has been shot. That's crazy, man. It, crazy that's crazy. What about you, John? I mean, growing up, I, I didn't see a lot of guns. I didn't. I, I would say I didn't start seeing guns till maybe I was around 16, 17. And it wasn't like legally I wasn't looking at them. I've never been to a gun ranch. I've never. I don't even think I've ever shot a gun. Um, but I've held them. I've held them in my hand. I've taken apart guns. Um, I've cleaned them. I've, I've spent time with some of my older brother's friends. Um, and we would just kind of like dab around. He, he would teach me stuff about the gun. Oh, this is this, this is that. But like I said, have I ever shot one? No. Um, so when it comes to the talk of guns, I don't really have uh, all the experience with it, um, even when it comes to the laws. But didn't they say something, not recently, or it probably was recently, that they changed one of the laws to where you don't need, is it the license to uh, concealed? Or uh, when you like have to you concealed, don't need a concealed open carry. carry. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't need a license for that no more, right? Or you need a license to have it concealed, but you can really pretty much in go general. to the store and just buy it. Yeah, you like can. a bag of damn chips. Exactly. Literally, man. Yeah. And I, I look at, and this goes for literally just the U.S. in general. Um, I've, I've, I sit there and watch YouTube at night and all that. I look at some YouTubes from U.K., Australia, um, or even Japan, something like that. They walk into Academy for the first time in the U.S. and they're like, "Oh, you can just buy a shotgun yeah. in this aisle." Yeah. And you can some buy of those places, guns is totally outlawed. That's what I'm saying. All they yeah. do is keep a knife on. Right, exactly. the, they get busy with them knives. Yeah, 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 they do yeah. get busy. Okay, when that's more, all you got, you ain't got no damn choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm more, I'm more lenient on that side of things. Like you can't not carry nothing, but like guns. Well, so before you jump into it, right? That's this is another thing I want to point out. Like I said, this is two brothers from D.C., Cray and Comedic, and this is two brothers from Houston, right. Izzy and Yansky, D.C. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Is DC gun laws, no comment. <laughs> boy, it's this it's, it's, it's the toughest. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What's I ain't gonna say the it? toughest, but right. it is tough as hell. They crack down on that. Oh, but now God. we in a place like Texas where it's loose, so it's the total opposite from from where we coming from. So, what you got to say about it, Craig? Um, as far as I'm concerned, bro, I don't trust. The only person I trust with a gun is myself. Right. So mm-hmm. I hate guns, dog. I done been in so many gunfights, and not me the one. I'm not the one fighting. I'm always the one fucking ducking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I've been in so many different situations from D.C. to Charlotte to Houston with, you know, this is probably the first place that I haven't, and I don't want to start now, but within Charlotte and uh, D.C., bro, you deal with guns all the time. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... When I came down here, well, no, when I when I was in Charlotte, I was like, you know what? I don't fuck with guns. That's why I need one. You know what I'm saying? Face your fears, dog. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I took the classes. I did the shooting. I know how to work that motherfucker. Straight but up. you won't see me, you know what I'm saying, on that bullshit with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You come up in my spot, it's a different problem. But you see me in person, it's going to the hands, or I'm pulling out that that shank, <laughs> you know. But yeah. it's, it is. But I'm I'm not. I don't like guns. I feel you. Now for me, I'm a person where self defense is self defense. Right. No you matter see what, what I'm saying. Is. But I also view that there is an escalation, the same way it's supposed to be with the police. You see what I'm saying? Everything doesn't require going from zero to hundred. First true. thing you don't need to be pulling out is your gun. And that's one of the first things exactly. they tell you in that class. Yep. That needs to be the last resort. Message. You know that is the last resort, depending on what the threat is. It's if the not, threat is coming yeah. with that gun, then you know you got to do what you got to do. Right. And, and don't think it's a shield. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. People hide behind it like it's a shield, bro. It's not. Yeah. Once Especially, you let off one, it's one coming right back at you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Especially so, not here, because like you said, between the difference between D.C., and here in Texas, you have to assume that everyone has one. Right. Exactly. You have to assume. Yeah. Like, and the type of them, the, the type that you can get, 
you can get something that looks like something straight off a of Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or space. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> and, and it's legal to have in your car. Yeah. And the only thing, the police stop you, or you got, they assume that you got one anyway, you might as well just tell them. Yeah. Right. And you, majority of the time, depending on, you know, what type of connection you got, complexion, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can be able to get away. Yeah. yeah. And what's the, what's the, um, the age requirement now? Isn't it, 18? I'm just, yeah, I think it's just 18. 18 like, right? you can buy a pack, of, well, you can't buy a cigarettes no more, but you can buy a Glock. But you can buy a Glock, yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, it is. Like, think about that, man. It's like, crazy as hell. All you need is a license. I guess they care more a about- A driver's license, not a gun license. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Damn. You need and a it's driver's true. license. And honestly, I don't think we live in a time and age where music promotes more peace than anything. I think they just promote you to go out there, do it, it up, and just up. shoot it do in it. the air. Right. The way that they advertise, it make you feel like they want you to go out and shoot people. Right. You but you, like, okay, but let's, what let's, do y'all need these weapons for? Like, this let's, is let's, let's, not let's for hunting. Right? Like, I want to I analyze that because that brings me back to a conversation we had on previous episodes when it came to gun laws, right? Now, I want to bring up my man, No Knowledge. Shout out to him because he talked about something that was really key when it came to guns, right, and, and music. He said, think about, it, what, think about what it's being influenced by. When you listen to some of this music, you hear the brands and names of these guns. You hear the models. Right. You hear the brands. Right. Who do you think is really influencing that at the end of the day? Uh, I, in my opinion, I always view... An uh, artist, not just hip hop, mm -hmm. but a lot of it, a lot of different musical genres, they could be like politicians. Yeah. They can oh, be yeah. bought. Yeah, they can be probably. influenced. If I pay you this amount of money to sit up there right. and say my brand of gun in your 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 music video, you gonna do it? So you saying right. they like lobbyists? Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. It makes sense now they're, that you say that. They're they're influencers. Think about it. Think about. It. Let's 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 go through a timeline, right? Yeah. Adidas. Run DMC. My, oh, yeah. yeah. My Adidas. Let's fast forward. Jay-Z. Before that. Okay. Jay-Z. Chris Styles. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I see you going with that. We can fast forward to that. Nelly. Air Force One. Oh, stop it. And then he did the George. <laughs> this nigga then did two of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, come on. I'm man. not gonna lie to And they both was Nike, hey, but they both was Nike. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but that's that's just that's what I'm saying though. I give you this amount of money and you're gonna say what you wanna say. Then we got the whole everybody wanna talk about Draco era. Draco, 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 Draco. Yeah, Draco, 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 this, Draco that. Bro, I seen so many videos of people shooting it. And it just seemed like they just bought it. Yeah, one of our coworkers had one. Wow. And I don't ever think he ever used it. He just said, oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, hell no. Crazy. I'm going to hit you with that like, Draco. For what? What do you need to do? First of all, well, you, and bro, I, it's not I, even practical. Bro, I'm not, don't, practical. don't come for me. Don't sue me. But that shit... If you look at the YouTube videos of people shooting that shit, got mad recoil. Right. <laughs> Come on now, look at what type of gun it is. What are you going to use that? What what situation are you going to use that and be accurate? Uh, you know, get you a get you a all, nine millimeter or forty five. That you good. Yeah. Maybe a shot. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need yeah. no hell you need need more shotties. Got Fifty five cow fucking. <laughs> yeah. What do you need that for? You rolling around Texas with a desert a pocket eagle. sniper, right? Oh. Crazy. Like, it, crazy. It, the crazy thing is, they prepare like it's going to be a zombie attack. But motherfucker, I'm gonna tell you like this. Them guns that you shooting is not gonna hit them zombies. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hit it's everything not, else, yeah. but you know what I'm it's not. It's, it's and they truly still not. gonna rip your face off. Because people. People are really viewing that as this is what I got. Right. This is a showpiece. Right. But when it's time to get busy with it, you really gonna get busy with it. And you don't know what to do. First of all, you ain't trained with it. Yeah, that's one thing too. Like, come on now. And now, if you did train with it, you will realize, okay, this 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 ain't, this ain't what I just need to be walking around right. with. Like it ain't nothing. Right. You, you ain't carrying this right. in your back pocket. Like, come the fuck on, let's get real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's that's what I'm talking about though. It's, I feel like it's the influencing from these companies, these corporations that are putting that putting that money into for the sake of the conversation, the hip hop community, to put that shit 
any song. I'm Jeff. not gonna lie. Every time they drop a hot track with saying their name, they buy a new chain. And I know money, music money, don't work like that. Exactly. It, Heck no. Don't work like that. You can't just drop a quarter even, million of dollars yeah. like that, man. Even them chains is being advertised though. Like, yeah. But I'm saying like that. I mean, going back to the young brother from Philly, dog. It's, right, right, right. it's, it's like. Like, dog, it's like we invested in this bullshit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to get into the investments, but we just be lunching. Like, the shit that we invested in is just some shit. Mm-hmm. It's not making us no richer. We making other motherfuckers richer who already got bread. Mm-hmm. And we just keep fucking dying for their advertising. <laughs> I feel you. We dying to sell their shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's truly what it is, though. <laughs> you know? It's a fucking problem, man. The- and- yeah, go ahead, Ed. To me, I feel like the whole robbery situation was stupid because the jury that you did get off of him, and technically speaking, you didn't have to kill him because it, it was pointless. The man's chain said P&B Rock. What you going to do? Who oh, are you going to exactly, sell it to? Exactly. It only matters to P&B Rock. Exactly. Yeah. You can, you're going you're gonna to melt it down, take the diamonds out of it, it's going to be worthless because you're going to lose gold. Yes. All this all this yes. stuff is going to happen. Yes. So it was a it was a senseless life or a senseless action of taking a life. So what it, let's 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 take it to a, an extreme for a second. Mm-hmm. This situation we talking about. I don't want to offend nobody. Let's just keep off radio. Okay. We give you the unedited real truth shit. Shit that people think. What if all of this shit was a plot? A plot for what? Exactly. Mm. This man's a superstar. <laughs> this man's a superstar. He goes out to go eat with his girl. Now, superstars do this shit all the time. This is not the first time. I'm pretty true. sure it's not That's the true. first time that uh, a, a, a artist has gone to their shop and and put their shit on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Right. All of them wear chains. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this one particular dude, I seen a picture of the dude. He does not look tough. Mm-hmm. He didn't look tough, bro. I mean, he might have been. Yeah. But he doesn't look like somebody you want to fucking hit. Right. Mm-hmm. For what? Yeah. It's about who pays protection. You remember? So you go and you knock this kid off. But uh-huh. what happened for that to have happened? We talking about the dangerous West Coast, man. A lot of, you know, you got to pay to play out there. Uh, some people... Like I said, the boy is from Philly, and he already put out the video, you know, about, yeah, ain't nobody going to run up on me, da 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 yeah, Whatever. He was feeling himself that day. That's what he wanted to put out. But from what he put out, he's not going to be extorted. Okay, that's a good he's, he's, not, he's not up for... Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You got to you got to pay me to come in my neighborhood. Yeah. Because it's not just about it's not just about that that particular the, all of the West Coast. You pay me, you get to go all over the West Coast. No, you get to come in this section. Yeah. And then when you go over there, you got to pay for that section. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. In this section. Yeah. In this section. You like in the club, man. And it make you wonder why people even go. Cuz it's a lot of stuff over. It's a lot of politics over that joint. Yeah. Damn. You just got to pick the baddest one at that point. Yeah, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a tough situation, man. It kind of make you wonder if you even want to do go that route. Make it rapping or make it playing basketball or doing whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. who wants to run into extortion and Illuminati and all that other bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like when you get to that level, you always have to pay somebody. Exactly. Somebody's going to receive some type of payment mm. one way or another. It's either with cash or your life at this point. Straight Damn. up. I mean, yeah. think about it. Wasn't he on the same record label as Young Dolph? Was he? <laughs> Young so, Dolph. So, Young Dolph, PNB Rock, XXX, Tenacious. Is that how you, how you pronounce it? Tentation. Ten- who? Tentation. XX Testacio. Testacio? No disrespect. I love X, man. XXX Takashi. Yeah. What? X, <laughs> I just don't want to be that XX Takashi. And I've been calling Tenacious. Like Kakashi, Takashi. I don't think that's it. That's not it's it. It's Tikashi. I think that's what you're thinking about Takashi 69. Oh, he's not on there? No. no. Oh, it's another man. dude, XXX. Hey, anyway, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> back to him. Back to it. Hey, Draco, Draco the ruler was hey, on there. Man. 
Who else was on there? Drago the real one. He I have got no idea who these people yeah. are, but it's cool. Yeah. What up? But those are four what different up? people that we're talking about, right. all under the same label. Now, I was hearing about a lot of these record labels taking life insurance policies out on these, these artists. Damn. And then when you hear something about four, these are four different artists. Now, they are more. We only, for the sake of this conversation, talking about four of them that just happen to, like, pass under the same record label. I don't. This is this yeah, no, I this a that, that, that's, yeah. I was gonna say it's a lot of conspiracy theories. Like we it's, can be thrown around. Mm-hmm. It's far fetched, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's kind of wild, man. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I can't. That's. I think it's a sad situation, regardless. Yeah, it's, it's a lot yeah. that didn't have to be taken over yeah. a dumb act. So. Yeah. Uh, on a different oh, what? note, homie, what you sell that you sell that chain out by itself? They gonna know where you got it from, right? Not only that, but like you said, you can just break it down and take the diamonds out and all that. Yeah. Stuff. So on a different note, man, as we enter the end of our uh, show, I do have a question for everybody. This is more like a a, a, a thought, an idea. Um, let me grab my my note. Very, very, very interesting, intuitive question. So the question is, succession in any of your endeavors, meaning in any of your endeavors that you want to succeed in, right? Do you need to know what you're doing is right? Or is it enough to believe what you're doing is right? Repeat that question. I'll ask you that endeavor. I'm going to be real with you. I need you. All right. (laughs) So (laughs) the question is, in any endeavor... In any endeavor, Problems. anything that you okay. want to do in life, right? Any like any situation, right? Yeah, endeavor. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, that you want to be successful at, okay. like you want to reach success, you want to get to a point, right? Do you need to know that what you are doing to get to that point is right, or is it enough to believe that what you are doing is right? Is right. That's a tough question. That is a tough question. To keep going, you know what I'm saying? In your process. I think that's a very tough question because if you sit up here and say, if it's enough to believe what you're doing is right, then that man Jeffrey Dahmer said he was doing everything right. Because he Anything, believed it. Because he was believed right. it. That's what I. So. Yeah, you know, they that, keep going. That, uh, but then when you look at it from the other aspect, if you're doing something illegal, you consider it being right because of your situation? Right. I'm not going to lie with you, uh, comedic. Look, everyone that I know that has participated in illicit crimes, illegal crime, mm-hmm. none of them none of them feel good about anything. Right. Yeah, it, it, it weighs okay. on them because yeah. they know. Yeah. Even, even, even Jeffrey knew. Yeah. That's why he said he never made an excuse for what he did. Yeah. But uh, I feel like if it makes you feel good, it's worth the problem. It's worth the problem? It's worth the problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's that guy that said? I want trouble always. That's yeah. me. I don't want peace. <laughs> I want problems. I want problems I want always. <laughs> nah, but going back to what he was saying, the, um, the Jeffrey Dahmer thing, not trying to bring past him, but like if you look at it like Hitler's standpoint, right? Weird topic, but in his eyes, he was doing everything for his country. To everyone else, it's like, why are you doing this? Why are you killing? Why are you, you know? So it's like back to what he's saying. If if you think you're doing it for a right reason and it's benefiting benefiting you as well as others around you, in your eyes and to everyone else that's with you, it's gonna be succeeding. It's gonna be successful. It's gonna be right. Right. But to others. You know, to everyone else on the planet, it was a horror to us, all of us. Right. Because they you know? didn't understand it. But at the end of the question, I said, is it enough to believe? Oh. No, no, no. You're, you're, oh. you're straight. You're right, on right, right, target. Right. Is it enough? With that being said, what you think is right is right to you. It might not be right to everybody else in this room. Exactly. But is it enough to believe that what you're doing is right for you to continue to do it? You know what I'm saying? Other, otherwise, if you listen to what everybody else is telling you, you'll stop. Yeah. Right. You'll limit you know yourself. Saying? So, like, how do you differentiate what's right and what's not? Does it even matter? 
Or I does think, it only just matter to you? I think it it starts with you. Yeah. That's that's where I think. I think I think both ways, right? But I think it has to start with you. Whatever you doing, do you feel right doing it? What impact is it having on everybody else if it's having an impact? Wherever that goes, it's up to you to make that decision. It's always up to the individual. I can't speak for anybody over here but myself. If I'm doing something and I feel right doing it, and I feel like it's in, if, if it's having an effect, if it's having an effect on the external environment positively, then I'm gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel good about it, and I see the positive impact it's bringing. Right, right, right. So right, right, right. I, I, I feel like you have to weigh both, but it starts with you before anything. I can right. concur with that. I can get down with that that lo- that logic. Really, I can get down with everybody's logic, um, because it does depend on you. And if you take other people's ideas and beliefs into account. It's not a bad thing neither because people ostracize you and make you feel like that's wrong. But we all care about what other people think. That's why we get dressed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, That's man. why we get dressed. That's why we put clothes on when we go outside because everybody cares about what somebody thinks about them. Yeah, And man. that's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's just when you start allowing it to consume you and overpower your, your personal will to just live your life. Yeah. It's like following a trend. On that. Right. Yeah. No, and, and going back to me being young, uh, growing up, and I hear from him all the time, man. I look at this man like my older brother is over here. Um, I, as much as I try to not want to do it, or as much as I say I don't do it, I do. Uh, I do care what other people think. I, I will, like, straight out the bat, I will tell you, yes, I do care what people think. Is it good? No. And sometimes does it um, take a toll on my mindset and how I view myself? Yeah, it does. And it, it, I'm going to be real, it fucks with me. But I'm starting to get towards the age of, like, you really you don't need to be caring what other people think of you. Because mm-hmm. you got to make your own decisions at the end of the day. Right. Yeah. No one's going to make it for you. Yeah. Right. You I know say always wait till the age of 25. <laughs> the age of 25. Oh. Mm. I, I got four more years in me, then. You're going to start seeing a whole lot. You're going to be like, I did that? Dang. That was lame. <laughs> <I know that. laughs> yeah. 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 You start getting yeah. closer to that 30, that 30, 30. <laughs> yeah, I watched the podcast. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, like, you gonna start realizing more and more about how so much stuff that you did when you were younger made zero, zero shit. Like, right. sense. Yeah. Like, and there's, then, there's some stuff that I look at now. I'm like, why the fuck I do that? You know, it's a, it's it a reason why they call it young and dumb. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it don't stop when you hit thirty neither, because you look at your twenties, you'd be like. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you get to you your 40s to 30, and you look at your 30s. You make it to 35 and you like, man, damn, all right, I'm halfway through. Let me hurry. Like, yo, I got to, this got to happen, you know? Right. But, you know, like, it, it you got to like, have a balance, bro. Yeah. You got to care. You got to not care so much about what people think, but you do need to care about what people think because it drives you. It motivates yes. you. That shit yes. fuels your fire. When people talk shit about you, it makes you want to do better. So you saying it makes you quit. You saying take into account what people are saying to a certain extent. To a so, certain. So take in the yeah, opinion, but, but depending on how it goes, don't sway yourself to their opinion. Because a motherfucking consider say what you doing is some dumb shit. Why the fuck are you doing this? It's, but. You could take that in and be like, man, I'm just going to stop, even though you may be having a positive impact on the world. I'm going to give you one. It's like what Bruce Lee said. Take everything, but take the positive or take what's necessary from every situation. Anything that's not necessary, get rid of it. From every situation, take what's necessary from that situation. And everything that's not, get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is what it is. Hey. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, yes. To go back to what you said, when I was younger, people opinions didn't matter to me. I it, it bolded me. Really? Like Bane. Like I, it made me <laughs> be somebody different. Man, but I, I feel like being younger, like some of the guidance that I had wasn't really around for that like constructed the right way. Yeah. 
So I ended up doing. I mean, I was great. That was top tier, but it, I was still bad. I feel you. I was bad in the worst, uh-uh. in the worst way. It took me, it took a lot of, a lot of self healing to get back. Really? So if you do believe in something, yeah. do believe in it wholeheartedly. Don't let people sway you because they don't believe. Because a lot right, of people right, don't right, believe. Right. Like. You, you personally know I've been trying to do podcasting for forever. I've been oh, talking about dude, I'm trying what? to get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah, me. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Right. Right. Going much farther too. But it took it took gradual steps because who I was a year ago is not who I am today. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And who I was five years ago is not who I was today. Yeah. And that can go for anybody in this room. You know what I'm saying? We you don't even dress the same. Yeah. You're not just you're not gonna be the same mentally, trust me. Right. Man. And I want a lot of the younger people out here who may listen to this podcast to know that just because you're not on the up and up, don't go out there and let somebody influence you that's gonna deter you from being what you wanna be. If you wanna yeah. be that NBA star, yeah. go ahead, finish the podcast, but go out there, shoot the hoop. You know, get better. You want to be a football star, same thing. You want to be a lawyer, crack them books, yeah. get them cases. Yeah. yeah. You want to be a doctor, don't play doctor. Go read some, go read the biology. <laughs> go, go, read, go read the biology book, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, jail time behind that other stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Damn, damn, damn. All right, man. So, you know we got to do a part two to this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we definitely sure. got to do a part. We just getting started. <laughs> we just getting started. <laughs> what's that, what's that? I'm just warming up. <laughs> I'm just warming up. But for now, we got to put a pause on it. Oh, yeah. We're going to put a pause on it. Pause for the cause, right? Yeah. That way we can collect our thoughts and come even harder. Exactly. <laughs> All right? So with that being said, this is your boy, Comedic Energy. Your boy, Cray, Cray, Cray Noop. Right. Is the Wiz. Last but not least, it's your boy Ian, a.k.a. Yonski. Yeah, 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 yeah. And again, this is produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. Peace out, people. Have Peace a nice out. Night. This show is produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. If you're looking to rent premium sound equipment for your next concert or podcast at a low price, go to www.livewiresoundent.com. Foodie Moss Radio.